This video is created by Jagrat Creation wherein I want to solve one basic level sum for a chapter accounting for not for profit organization wherein I intend to prepare income and expenditure account and the balance sheet as at the end of the year. This sum, this chapter may be in the syllabus of in certain boards in class 11, in certain boards it is in the syllabus of class 12. So this is a basic level sum. I want to solve this sum, just observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum that I intend to solve. Receipts and payment account of Sadbhavana Club is as under for the year ended on 31-2015. This is the receipts and payment account for the year ending on 31st of March 2015. Balance 6000 subscription 13 14 14 15 15 16. This is the year 14 15. This is a subscription of last year has been received. This is a subscription of next year has been received. Legacy sales proceeds of ticket of drama show sale of old newspaper. Salary Sunday expenses expenses for drama show subscriptions for video record by taxes charity expenses investment electricity expenses balance carry forward. Taking, taking into consideration the following additional information, prepare the income and expenditure account for the year ended on 31st of 2015 and the balance sheet as of that day. There are 150 members in a club, each paying annual subscription of 200. So 150 members, 200 is a subscription. Every member has to pay 200 rupees as subscription. Total number of members in the club are 150. So 150 into 200, 30,000 should be the income of current year for subscription. Against that, we have received only 28,000 for the current year. So 2,000 is a subscription income outstanding at the end of the year. For that, we will write the adjustment entry. Outstanding salary 1,600. So 15,200 paid. Yet 1,600 is to be paid. So total expense to the for the current year to be debited to income and expenditure account is the total of 15,200 plus 1,600. Interest of 3 months at the rate of 12% is outstanding on the investment. See the investments are purchased 20,000 on which you are entitled to have interest for 3 months as an income which is yet to be received. Balance as on 1 for 2040 that is the beginning of the year building 60,000, capital fund 67,200. Now from this information, I am required to prepare income and expenditure account and the balance sheet as fashion. But first of all, I will prefer to prepare the opening balance sheet and I would, I would like to ensure that it agrees. The opening balance sheet tallies. The information about the opening balance sheet is these this two information, building, capital fund. Opening cash balance will also appear on the balance sheet asset side. And the subscription of 1314 received 1200. 1200 is a subscription received in 1450, which is for a period 1314. So that this 1200 was outstanding, receivable, recoverable at the beginning of the year. So this 1200 also will appear in the opening balance sheet. On the basis of this four information, opening balance, subscription receivable, and the building and capital fund, I'll prepare the opening balance and I'll con opening balance sheet and I'll confirm that it agrees. Over and above as a as question, I'm going to prepare income and expenditure account and balance sheet. Let me start. So this is the opening balance sheet. This is the income and expenditure account for the year ended on 31st 2015 balance sheet of Sadhana Club as on 31st 2015. Now this is the receipts and payment account given to me. As I told to you, first I will prepare the opening balance sheet. So this cash balance, opening balance will appear in the opening balance sheet. Subscription due, outstanding, that will appear in the opening balance sheet asset side. In the fourth adjustment I am given, building 60,000, that will appear in the closing balance sheet. Because in this receipts and payment account, we don't find building being sold and capital fund, opening balance sheet liability side and the same capital fund, I will write on the liability side of the closing balance sheet in the inner cola. This cash balance 6000 is already recorded. This subscription is already received. So these two items 
will not have any effect in this structure. Now I start with adjustment number one. So opening balance sheet tally 67,200. Now there are 150 members. Each of them is required to pay rupees 200 per month. I have already received only 28,000 against that. So what is the amount outstanding? So 15, 28,000 is being received. 15 into 200, this is the total income that I should have received. So subscription outstanding at the end of the year is 2000. So income for the current year 2000 is to be added to 28,000. So we get the total income of 30,000 during the current year. So subscription income for the current year is 30,000. Out of that 20,000 has been received, 2000 is yet to be received in the next year. But the total income for the current year should be credited to income and expenditure account in spite of the fact it has not been received, but it is receivable in the next year. And this 2000 outstanding will appear on the balance sheet asset side as on 31th 2015. Now next adjustment, that is salary outstanding. So 15,200 has been paid, yet to be paid 1600 is added. So total expense for the current year is 15 plus 1, 16,800. And salary outstanding will appear on the balance sheet liability side. This is how salary expenses recorded. Now the investments are purchased 20,000 on with three months interest is receivable. So I just show this investment on the balance sheet asset side. Now I'll calculate interest for three months, 20,000 into 12% for three months. So this is the interest income for the current year, credited to income and expenditure account. The amount is not received, it is receivable. So interest accrued will appear in the balance sheet asset side, outstanding interest. Now adjustments are over. All these red color items are considered. Now this is a subscription for 15, 16 received subscription received in advance in the current year. That is for next year but received in the current year. It will appear on the balance sheet liability side. Legacy will be added to capital fund. Sale of sales proceeds of tickets of drama show credited to income and expenditure account. Sale of old newspaper, credited to income and expenditure account, being income. Salary expense is already recorded. Sunday expense debited to income and expenditure account because it is an expenditure for the current year. Expense for drama show, debited to income and expenditure account. Subscription to periodicals expense debited to income and expenditure account. Taxes are also debited to income and expenditure account. Charity expense debited to income and expenditure account. Electricity expense debited to income and expenditure account. Closing cash and bank balance will appear on the balance sheet asset side. Now all this information is considered. Now I have to find out the deficit or surplus by balancing this income and expenditure account. Now total of credit side is 51,400 that is recorded here. From 51,400 all these things are deducted. So excess of income over expenses 13,800 that will be added to capital fund. So capital fund closing balance is 89,000 plus 800 plus 1,600, so it should be 91,400. Similarly, if you make a total of the assets on the asset side, you will find the same total of 91,400. This is how my balance sheet agrees. This is a small sum that is being considered. It's a basic level sum. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.